Hi kids! Today we will learn about different types of objects at our home. So let's start. We have a lot of things at our home. Some are solid, some are liquid, some are soft, some are hard. Like this chair. This is a solid object. And what about this drink? This is a liquid object. Now, let's see some properties of solids and liquids. Let's start with the properties of liquid. Liquids can flow. Liquids can be poured into some container. Liquids take the shape of a container it is poured into. There can be more properties of different liquids, like oils are liquids and they are greasy to touch. Oils are transparent, that is, easy to see through, or clear and also runny when it pours. Paint is a liquid that is sticky and impossible to see through. It is opaque and it is very thick when it pours. Now let's see some different properties of a solid. Solids. Solids has its own shape. Its shape does not change easily. Different solids have different properties, like a sponge is a solid which is soft to the touch and very lightweight. Other solids like stone or bricks are very hard to touch and very heavy to pick up. Uncooked rice, pulses, are solids that are granular, that they have many similar and small pieces. Now let's see some special properties of water. Water can be a liquid, solid, or a gas even, like ice, snow, or solid forms of water, whereas water we drink and use is liquid form of water. Water changes to a solid form when we keep it in a freezer. Water changes to liquid form when we heat it. And if you further heat the water or you boil it, it starts changing into gas or it starts evaporating. That is the steam you see above the boiling water, is the gaseous form of water. Now let's see what are buoyant objects. The items that floats in water are called buoyant items. Here are a few things. Let's see which of the following items can float. Key. Key cannot float. This toy duck. Yes, it can float. This leaf. Yes, this leaf can float. This ring. No, it cannot float. Apple. No, apple cannot float. Paper boat. Yes. It can float. Now let's see what are absorbents. Objects or items that absorbs water are called absorbents. Let's see some things and check they are absorbents or not. This is a paper towel. Yes, it absorbs water, so it is an absorbent. This is a plastic wrap. It repels water. It does not absorb water at all so it's not an absorbent. This is a fabric tablecloth. Yes, it absorbs liquid, so it's an absorbent. Rain jacket. Does it absorb water? No, it repels water, so it is not an absorbent. Sponge. Yes, sponge absorbs liquid, so it's an absorbent. Kids, now we will learn how we should be careful while handling different solid and liquid things at our home. Let's learn. First of all, all liquid things can spill. So all liquid things need good containers that prevents them from spilling or leaking. 
There are also some objects at our home that we should not touch. That is, let only your parents use them. Do not touch them when they are not home. Now let's see which type of things we should not touch. There are various things on which various symbols are made that tells us that those objects are dangerous for us. Now let's see some warning symbols that can be there on some liquids or solids. This is a symbol for explosive objects. That is, it may explode if punctured or heated. This symbol says that the object can catch fire easily if it's near heat. This is a symbol for corrosive objects. It may burn skin or eyes upon contact. This is a symbol for poisonous objects. It may cause illness or death if swallowed. So always be careful and do not touch the objects on which you find such symbols. So kids, today we learnt about various solid and liquid objects at our home and how we should be careful while handling different objects at our home. So kids, now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.